Hey guys, it's Gray Walker. Um, I have a really quick tutorial that I want to do. It's basically how to make lights in Unity. Um, this is Unity Pro only, so if you don't have Unity Pro, go get the trial. Um, you can get it for a month for free, and I'm sure you could renew after that. So uh, you want to get Unity Pro first to be able to do this because it is based on Bloom effects. Um, and uh, some other tricky lighting effects. So uh, if you don't have that, get that. We're going to open up GIMP. Um, this is where we're going to make our graphic for our uh, light. Alright, so we have GIMP up. Let's just make a new file. I'll make it 200 by 200. And let's just color this a very light blue to the point where it's almost white but not completely white where you can see it's a babyish blue so we'll color it that file save as desktop I'm gonna name this gunlight.png okay I'm gonna exit out of that I'm gonna put my light or my uh, graphic on my desktop I'm gonna open up blender drag Blender to my other monitor so you guys can see. Delete my light, delete my camera, delete my cube, add mesh, and we're just going to use a regular icosphere. Um, and then we will split our screen and open this image that we used, that we just made. And basically just uh, simply project from view it. And now it is this color solid. So let's pack this pack this texture by clicking the present and let's save as uh, gun light whoops save as gun light let's close out of this let's open up unity And uh, if you guys get caught up, um, or if you guys get, if you guys struggle with this tutorial in any way, just go back and uh, um, watch and review over what I do, because uh, I am taking this really fast. So let's delete what I already have here. Let's take our gun light. Let's minimize this. Take both of our gun light things and drop them into Unity. If I drop the texture and the light at the same time, then it will um, give me my light. I'm going to size this up um, so it's easier to see. Whoa! And I'm going to put this in front of my camera. So let's see where our camera is facing. And move this in front of my camera. I remember again we are using Unity Pro. Alright, so basically you have your sphere um, here, but it is really um, dull. There's no light to it, so what we want to do is make it shadeless, kind of. So we will go to the mesh. We're going to turn it from diffuse to uh, particles, additive soft. And as you can see, this gives it a glow. And um, let me delete my... Actually, I just want to show you guys... Um, I'm going to remove all of my image effects. Um, so right now, this is what it's going to look like in the game. Um, it has no shading on it. It's completely white. It's kind of like a light. So you want to go to your camera and then add your component, image effects, bloom, and flares. Take down your bloom. Go to Hollywood turn the intensity down a little bit and then the intensity down in your bloom a, a lot actually you might want it up a little bit and then blur spread up blur iterations you can put up just mess around with those and get what you want and that's basically how you make a light and then you would make and then you put this light on a gun or a sword or as a light bulb or something like that and um if you want this to actually emit light, like an actual light bulb or something, 
um, just to show you guys. Um, I'm going to put this cube here, and I can go to the uh, gun light sphere, go to component, rendering light, and add the light. And it will actually emit light now. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's putting light on that cube now. Um, yeah, so that's basically how you make a light in Unity um, as a, from a mesh. And to make it look like a light, um, if you have a gun that has a certain spot on it that you would like to make it look like this, um, go into Blender or whatever texturing modeling tool that you use and uh, separate it, separate that mesh, and then um, texture it with that gun light texture that you used, any color that you'd like, and then uh, do the same thing that you did with it, just make sure it's a separate mesh. And that's basically how you do it. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below or contact me on Skype if you know me on Skype. Um, thank you very much.